Hello, I'm Bob Gottwals with the Department of Chemistry at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics in Durham, North Carolina. This short podcast is called Mathematica Quick Tip Creating Tables. So I have some data that consists of five rows and two columns and the name of the data set is simply called data. You'll see that I've put a semicolon at the end of the data uh, to suppress the output. I don't particularly need to see the output. I can extract this data for use in mathematical calculations a number of ways. If I simply want one of the numbers, for example, I need the number 36. I, what I will notice is that's in the third row in the second column. So I'm going to refer to that by typing the name of the data set called data. I'm going to do two uh, square brackets. The square brackets mean uh, find a value in a list or in an array. And because I want, I want the third row and I want the second column, I'm going to close with a double bracket. I'm going to evaluate that with a shift enter and I get the number 36. Likewise, I could say I want all of the rows in column two. And so I'm going to change the, the, the row number to an all there, shift evaluate, or shift enter to evaluate, and notice that I get all of the values in column number two. So I get 14, 25, 36, 47, and 58. Likewise, I could say I want um, all of the numbers in, 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 in uh, or I just want row one, and I want all of the columns. So what do you think I'm going to get out of that? If I do this, I'll evaluate that, and I get the first row there. I can also say, let's say I just want rows three, four, and five out of column, uh, out of uh, that column. So I'm going to go three, semicolon, semicolon, five. And what that's going to give me is, if I evaluate that, that'll give me both columns. So it'll give me columns one and two, it'll give me numbers 45, 36, 56, and 47, and 66, 67, and 58. So these are ways that I can extract out the data in, in this particular data set. Okay, moving on. Now I want to create a new table in which I show the first two columns. So I want to show the original data, uh, as you see there. And then in a new column, a third column, I want to add columns one and two. Well, how would I do that? And, and when the table is done, I also want to display it as a nice uh, grid formatted table with borders or a frame around it. And it would be nice to put some labels on it as well. And so how am I going to do that? Let's create a solution here. I'm going to call my new table, new table. I'm going to equal, and as you might suspect, I'm going to use the table command, and I'm going to put a square bracket. Now, I like to put a lot of, of spacing in here so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to have three columns. I'm going to have the original column of data, uh, the original second column of data, and a third column where I'm doing some mathematics. So because I have three columns, I'm going to need a list. So I'm going to represent a list with a curly bracket. I'm going to uh, hit the Enter key a couple times, Return key, and close my uh, row bracket there. I'd like to, again, keep things where I can see them. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see all of column one. And I'm going to type here, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to say row, excuse me, I need two square brackets, row column one and end my array with my double square brackets. I'm going to put a comma here and now I'm going to create the next um, create the next column. So I'm going to say data row column two comma and now I'm going to say data this is where I'm going to add them up. Row column one plus row excuse me, data, row, column two, and that's going to represent my three, three columns. So I've got the first column reprinted, I got the second column reprinted, and the third line there says add up columns one and columns two. I want to 
comma here because now I have to say what row is. Okay, row is going to be all the rows from one to the length of my data set. I could have just put a five there uh, because I know how many uh, how many rows I have, but I'm going to let Mathematica do the counting for me. So I'm going to close that curly bracket and I'm going to close my square bracket. If I evaluate that, I get my, there's my, um, uh, I have five rows of three columns each. And if I want to, I'm going to suppress that output and I'm going to say grid new table frame hyphen greater than sign all. And there we go. I've got my original two columns, 23 through 67, 14 through 58. And now I have a new third column that's adding up columns one and columns two. Okay. But I really don't, uh, the other thing that's missing here is I don't have any labels here. So I'm going to create something here called final table. And I'm going to use the prepend command. Prepend means add before. It's like append. Append adds afterwards. Prepend adds before. And I'm going to prepend something to my new table. And what I want to prepend is I want an, the X label, a Y label, and a label that says X plus Y. And notice I have these in a list. I'm going to close that bracket, evaluate that. And I don't particularly like that output, so I'm going to suppress that. And I'm going to change my grid to the word final table, evaluate that. And there we go, I get my final table. So by some clever use of a little bit of programming, I'm able to create a data table uh, that includes uh, printing out the original data if I so desire, but it also includes being able to do some mathematical calculations on, on that data all in one, one shot. I hope that helps, and we'll see you online.